Be meeting. Mm -mm. We only have a few minutes. I know. What's this about? What are you guys doing? You built this company from nothing. And I'm just some lawyer, so just let me do this for you. Why? At least so I can say I did something good for the world. Is this all manipulation on her part? I almost feel like it is. Annalise, yes, thank you. Thank you. All she has to do is drop a few crocodile tears in your cage. That's not what's happening. That's cool. Get yours, but don't have me busting my ass for nothing. She told me not to do it, Emily. She was manipulating no. you. It was reverse psychology, or are you that ignorant? Don't she you, said ignorant. Don't you want to die knowing you lived for something other than yourself? Be the martyr. See where that gets you. You know, he hired her back because she says she could fix this for him, and he's not letting her fix it. It's taking so long. Right, so we're back to where we were. This doesn't seem like some sort of plan. It just seems like Nate's going off the rails. So let's see. Let's see what's going on in the background, maybe, that we don't know about yet. Where are you? You finally got to meet our little misconduct. With all the crap she's giving Crawford. At least tell me she's hot. She's fine. I find her like fine. What? She's not your type. Do you need something? It's about <laughs> Nate's wrongful death suit. Stop. I'm sorry? Nate's not ready to give up on the possibility of a criminal trial. If we file a civil suit, we lose. The opportunity goes away. That's the real fight he's interested in. Oh, okay. I, I finally spoke to Nate. You did? Oh, shit. Yes, and although he appreciates all your hard work, he doesn't want to take on any more fights right now. Really? He doesn't even want a criminal trial? Can you blame him? I mean, he'd be an idiot to still have any faith in the system. She knows y'all lying. Why are you all lying? No one's lying. I was with Michaela when she spoke with Nate. They're all full of it. I can't believe you do this to me again. We make Jensen take the fall. He's so keen on saving Nora's company and CNG, so let's take the sword he wants you to fall on and stab him with it. Huh. No, huh? Yeah. It's a great idea. I agree. I had the same one. I might have to come clean in there. Well, I told you I was okay with that. Yeah, but he's not. The whole firm could go belly up. And that's why they jumped at the chance of using me as a scapegoat in the first place. I'm not doing this. Fine. Yes. Gave me the advice. Remember? <laughs> I asked you if the sale was legal, and you said it would clear all regulatory agencies. And I trusted you. Because you have so much experience and power. And you said, yes, do it. You're all mad. <laughs> you realize we're sitting ducks at the firm now. I'm used to it. Have you had any mental health episodes in the past? No. Mental illness runs in your family, though. 342 days in the shoot broke my pops. After you gave them your DNA, why? To see if it matches my pops on a gun. It won't, which will prove Miller doctored that test. And if it wasn't him? Hey, come on. We don't know he did this, Nate. Maybe you're right. Fine. But you were protecting me. So no matter what, whether I'm wrong about him or right, we both know this started with me. I did it. For me. I don't even think about leaving us. What's he doing? about Bonnie? It's about us. We need to be on the same page. Is Bonnie okay, though? Yes. Well, I'm not. Did you know? Know what? About Christopher, how he was there? Did Bonnie not tell you? No. Of course she didn't. Laurel, we can't deal with this right now. You have to forgive Bonnie. No. She's on the edge. She'll hurt herself. Is that what you want? More blood on your hands? I can myself. I feel Oh, God. 
Claire, hi, it's Tegan Price. My immunity deal? You're listed as Jane Doe in all the paperwork, so go to work, keep your nose down. No one will know. I saw you were back in town. I want to meet up if you have time. What's she gonna do? I want to meet up if you have time. Call me. We don't need a plan. Why, because we're finally gonna turn ourselves in? No, because Nate has a plan. And it's a good one, smart. What is it? The governor killed Miller. So you understand. But how are you gonna prove it? We understand. The rest of you? Yes. Got it. <sighs> Laurel. Okay. Good. Now we're on the same page. We checked the DNA in Officer Glenn's gun against your own, which would match your father's. There was no match. Which means you were right. Someone manufactured those positive results. Miller. Don't know that. We're not there yet. But we have someone in custody who we hope will shed light on Miller's involvement. Bonnie? You've reached Bonnie Winterbottom. Please leave a message. Bonnie, where the hell are you? Call me back. Friend. Oh, wait, is she there? Oh, is she in his bed? I just didn't want to sleep alone. He's so worried about her. It's so sweet. <laughs> okay, so they don't have Bonnie. So who do they have? Gabriel? We have someone in custody who claims you're their lawyer. Who is it? It's Nate. Or Simon's finally back. Quiet. Gabriel. Has to be. He's the only other person involved with Miller. Professor Kitty. I think I need a lawyer. Hoping that's you. Okay. So that's the end of How to Get Away with Murder. Episode 11. This episode was kind of all over the place for me. Um, I don't, not, 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 not in a like, bad way. Exactly. I don't know what the hell is going on. <sighs> All right, focus, focus. All right, so they're going along with the plan of the governor being the one who killed Miller. I still don't know how they think they're gonna pull this off. Um, I mean, it looks like they've started. They started with uh, the fact that uh, the DNA evidence that the jury got that wasn't presented in court that Nate thinks Miller gave them, but I'm not sure that Miller is the one that gave him this DNA. But regardless, we figured out they were able to prove that it was tampered with because Nate's DNA didn't match it. And it would have matched it in a way if it had been his dad's DNA on it because of, you know, him being father and son. Um, so they know now the FBI knows that something is going on at least with the nate thing um nate nate's murder nate's dad's murder um yeah I, I still don't know how they're gonna link the governor to it though that's my thing because there's nothing that obviously puts the Lord, puts the governor there you know in any way not not saying like physically but paper trail wise or phone calls or whatever I mean the only thing that would link it is Annalise asking her to get Nate's dad released in uh from the institute uh but none of that stuff was like filed or anything so I don't know if there would be any kind of paperwork for that I would think no Especially if the governor did plan on killing Nate. Because uh, that was the card that Annalise played in order for her to agree to work with the governor. So, I don't know. So, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Uh, Laurel, in this episode, was a little psychotic. With, uh... What's going on? Like, 
fi- trying to figure out what Christopher saw. And I totally get it. As a mom, I totally understand why she was like, what did he see? What happened? And, and all that stuff. I would kind of be like that too. But I'm also on the mindset that he's a baby. He ain't going to remember this at all. I don't remember anything from when I was a baby. I think the first memory I have is when I was, what, five, maybe? I remember kindergarten, so I think that's like my earliest memory. So um, I don't think that even if he saw something, which, you know, technically, I don't think that he really saw anything. Yeah, he saw a body, but you didn't see Bonnie, like, suffocating him. Not really. He was behind her, so he didn't know what was going on. Um, So I think her being, like, paranoid that he's going to turn out to be some crazy psycho because he witnessed a murder when he was an infant is kind of... I think she's just really paranoid. And I don't think he's going to remember her. And Michaela trying to reassure her I think it did the opposite. Yeah, she did tell her that, you know, I was two, which she's obviously a lot older than Christopher is. You know, when she, her mom was killed um, in front of her, she doesn't remember it. But the fact that she's like, but, you know, look at me. I'm totally fine. I'm like, yeah, no, not really. Not really. <laughs> she's got some problems. But I don't know. Who doesn't have problems, right? Everybody has problems. Maybe not to the extent this group of people have problems but you know we all have issues um I don't know uh I mean I mean I hope this plan works and I hope Bonnie stops blaming herself I mean technically she killed him but she did it to protect Nate and I don't know I just hope that she can move past it it's weird to say because Obviously, Miller was doing something not good. Because now we know that he was using Gabriel to um, try and find some evidence on Annalise. Because, you know, of the stuff that Denver planted in his head before Denver died. And so that's not good. I'm not saying he deserved to die because of it. But he obviously wasn't 100% behind the team. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen, but we only have four more episodes, I think, and then I'll be on the final season, so that's exciting and kind of sad, uh, because then that means this will end, but it's still exciting. Uh, but anyway, so, um, I enjoyed the episode, even though I was confused through most of it, um, but yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions on anything you'd like me to react to, please leave that down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.